Hi everyone. Hi. Well, my name's Landis. Welcome. I'm Deli. We're stoked. And we are part of that. Yeah. We're so excited. I'm so excited to be here. It's been a while. And being able to be part of this team, I'm very grateful to be in the space with everyone. Yeah, and so, we're Art Matters, and we're doing a um, Welcome to the Colorful Abstraction Art Lesson. So as we prepare, as you land in the space, as we land together to create some art together, we want to take a moment and, and really acknowledge the land that we are on, the acknowledge the the Tiwa lands, also known as Albuquerque, New Mexico. And New Mexico has been and will always be the ancestral, home, ancestral homelands of the Navajo Nation, the 20 Pueblos, the three Apache nations and the Utah tribe. So just taking a moment to acknowledge the existence of the ancestral peoples of this land. Thank you. Thank you. And as we go into this moment, we're, we're going to honor the mission of why we are here. Shelly, if you could share the mission. You see this? So, awesome. So Art Matters, we are the Art Matters Youth Project, Youth Arts Project. And we're a group of teaching artists who bring authentic, engaging arts experiences to Albuquerque youth, to you. So thank you for being here. Our content is designed to engage participants in art making with a focus on social justice, whole person health, community, joy, and creative engagement at the core of our process. And with that, we also wanted to take a moment to share some of our community agreements and, you know, really acknowledge all of you who are here. We want to make sure to open this space and have everyone feel that you have a voice to make space for all respectful questions, concerns, and ideas to learn from one another. Also valuing respect, respecting each other, yourself, the tools and materials, the ideas, the environment, throw glitter, not shade, right? To also respect each other's process, engage in, engage in your process, hold space for joy and have fun. Another community agreement is be an artist and a maker, take risks, try something new, create. And one, our final one is to really lift each other up and share. And that's really means to ask questions, to listen, give thoughtful, productive feedback, collaborate, move up and, and move up to really bring each other and bring each other up in this space. So thank you so much for being here. And we're going to get into this this lesson of creative arte art time together See? so shelly go Let's ahead do it so what we're going to need for today is just make sure you clear your space and um we'll get out some tools and materials so there's two different types of paper in your art amazing art packet there's uh, one that kind of has like a more jagged edge and it's a little bit thicker and a little bit off white. So this paper is considered a mixed media or what like for painting. So we're going to use that after we do our warm up, but make sure you have that close by. And then we'll start with um, get a, paper, a sheet or two of the more sharp edged and the white um, lighter weighted paper. So the different types of paper. Then also, also markers, we're gonna doodle and draw with markers. So get all your colors out and let's see what else. And then after we do the warm up with those materials, we're going to paint with watercolor. And so get your watercolor set, which comes with a little brush in it and a cup for water. 
could be anything, any container for water and a paper towel. You might need a paper towel. And I think that's all we need. And then just make sure you have, you know, enough space to so everybody can move their elbows and feel like they have their own uh, space. Even though we're working collectively in the room together, we need a little bit of space to get creative. And yeah, so if you need to pause and get some stuff together, go ahead and do that. And then meet us back and we'll get ready for the warm up. Awesome. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. So yeah, for the warm up, get your markers and your lighter weighted white white piece of paper. And we're going to do uh, just some doodling with spirals, circles, bursts. And I think uh, Landy started one already. Um, so yeah, gonna... so I'm going to start it and I'll continue it. And while we get down on this warm up, warming up our bodies, our creative mind, uh, we'll have some music to, to accompany us. Cool. So let's get ready to doodle. And just feel free, fill the space. Yes. Remember to bring in different colors, all acknowledging maybe what the colors have you feel or what are the circles mean to you and the spirals? Even so you can see your non-dominant hand if you'd like. Try that out. So we'll take another 30 seconds to get down on our spirals, our bursts, our circles. Last uh, stroke to the end. Whoa. Awesome. Yeah, so the warm up hopefully got us feeling a little more comfortable in the space, moving our wrists and hands, letting our letting our mind just kind of flow freely. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for the music too, Lonnie. So sweet. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, now we're going to move on to uh, looking at some slides, some images um, that inspired the painting part of this lesson. And the person's name is Alma Thomas. I'm gonna put up a screen share of some of her work. Um, check this out. So as you can see, um, she used lots of color and different mark making. And this particular series that we're going to look at is all about the concentric circles. Um, and then just while we're looking at these, pay attention to the, the color, the width, the stroke, the different combinations. And I just want to tell you a little bit about Alma Thomas. Um, she passed in 1978 at the age of 87. 
And um, she was the one of the first people to go to school to college in her family. Here's another slide, which was pretty important. She was a black woman from Georgia and um, they moved up to Washington DC and she started to um, get really interested in art and teaching. And this blows my mind because she taught for the entirety of her adult life and didn't start making art really for herself and in this way until she was 69 years old. And this was in um, like in the 50s, 1950s. Um, and she was the first African American woman to have a show, a solo show, all of her own art um, ever at the Whitney Museum, which is a big, uh, important museum. And so that was kind of groundbreaking. And so I pay a lot of homage to her um, as a woman and just uh, making her way and also her age. So these are just great things yeah. that are inspiring. Yeah, if I could share a quote from her, um, she says, this is from 1970, creative art is for all time and is therefore independent of time. It is of all ages, of every land. In it. And if by this we mean the creative spirit in man, which produces a picture or a statue, is common to the whole civilized world, independent of age, race, and nationality, the statement may stand unchallenged. Alma Thomas. Wow. Wise yes. woman. Yeah. Wise so, woman, wise words. Yeah. So pay homage to, to her, um, paving the way for a lot of us. And yeah, so look at all these different combinations. I like how she used like rows and rows of the same color. And that makes like a thicker band and then sometimes a thinner band. And these are large, these are large pieces of work. Um, and here's another one, but you can see this one is, uh, the brush is more square. Whereas like this one, it's laid down thinner. So you can use your brush in different ways, which is really cool. It's a tool that, you know, you can use in multiple ways, even if you only have one brush, just the way that you lay it on the paper. And then I just wanted to briefly um, talk about um, how artists inspire one another and you'll be working, you know, making your, like you just did your doodles, you'll be making your paintings right next to each other. And we often get inspired by what we see or even if things are happening and we don't see them, we, we um, they're part of the conscious collective. And so I just wanted to show one of my um, pieces of art that is similar to Alma Thomas and she, um, let me look, she passed away the year after I was born. So um, wow. and then, yeah, I just looked at that. Yeah, she was born or she passed in 78 and I was born in 77. So um, mm -hmm. I hadn't seen her work and I made these this wishing wells. I'm making a series of wishing wells uh, on concentric circles. So the concentric circle is something that is, again, part of the collective consciousness. It's an important symbol for a lot of cultures around the world. And so, yeah, that's just another reason to like let things flow freely through you and be inspired by, by what you see and what you feel. Yes, thank you for sharing your work. Thanks, Lundy. I'm excited. I'm excited for us to jump in and, and have see. everyone create some work together and be able to bring it full circle and then share with one another. Absolutely. So, I just want to double Okay, so we're gonna move on to our painting. So yes, so grab your piece of paper, grab your marker, grab your watercolor, your water container, and just create that space. So if you want to take a pause and and uh, grab your materials, we can do that. And yeah, welcome let's, back. Let's get started. Make sure yeah, you I'm gonna play some music as we as we do our thing together. Yeah, and just remember to take breath and just chill and really let yourself uh, feel good. Have a good time. All right, let's do this. So, if you'd like to, um, if you'd like to start in the way of Alma Thomas, you know, just starting in the center. 
and then radiating outwards. If other things come up that you want to try, always feel free to, to do that. We're just playing with color and circles, shapes. Yeah, and just something to consider as you're taking time with, with creating these circles is really tapping into perhaps how you feel. How does it feel just making making these type of concentric circles? Feel free to mix colors, either let them mix on the page or mix them on your little palette. Can you hear the music okay? I hear it. Okay, sweet. I'm just wanting to invite everyone to take a moment and and also take a breath. Acknowledge your breath as you're making art. Maybe feel where that breath is leading you. Just being able to take your time. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge your posture. How are you sitting? If you feel any ease or, or tension allow the, the art to also be part of that ease. And one thing I like to do as far as the posture too is really put my both feet on the ground and just open up the center of my feet. Kind of like these circles, there's like energy centers in the center of our feet mm. and we can kind of open them and relax them into the earth and really help us feel grounded and in that, in that flow, in our own creative flow. Yeah. It's interesting that you say that because I'm over here with one leg on my chair. Like, you know, when you just fold your leg. Yeah. Just, it's nice to just, you know, just get to know like what, what makes one feel comfortable. Exactly. And things, and things shift, so it's cool. Yep, we all have our own way. Yeah. So if we want to take a moment and pause the video and continue to make art for the next um, 10 minutes, and you can go ahead and pause the video and and then come back then. Sweet. Okay, well, uh, welcome back. Hopefully you took some time to experiment with the color, with how you're feeling, with the circles, the concentric circles, maybe even had time to make two. Um, and you know, so now we're just going to share, take time to share with yeah. one another. You wanna do that? Yeah. Be able to take a moment to share with each other and this is, I went with a little bit more pastel feeling and calm. I don't know, this is making me feel a little calm right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it makes me feel with the, with the bright red in the center and then it radiates out. It's like there's that center and then it keeps getting calmer yeah. and calm, calmer. Yeah. yeah. This is the one I was working on. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I just went with letting the colors bleed together and then leaving in that mm. last ring some of the white showing through. Oh, here comes the drip. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> yes, um, I love that. 
So yeah, be sure to take time for people who want to share. If you just want to, everybody hold theirs up. Um, if you want to talk about it, when you are giving feedback to each other, just remember to be positive and use your language in a, in a creative way that you can say what you see and how it makes you feel. So take time yeah. for that. And just wanting to also thank everyone for taking time to make art with each other, with us. And as you wrap up, be able to also pay gratitude to the art supplies that are with you and to take care of them. Make sure you cap your markers, make sure you, you know, uh, put away your, your water and the, yeah, just clean the brushes, dry them out with uh, any cloth or rag that you may have. And yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's an honor and be well and take pictures. If you can have someone take pictures, we always love to see what you make. Yeah, always encourage you to either keep your art or maybe you want to trade your art, sign your name, put the date, mm -hmm. and we'll end with a closing breath if that's okay. Let's do so it. Take a moment, everyone, to get in your posture. And we'll take a collective breath in three. So here we go. Three, two, one, and release. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you next time.